joining me to discuss development in this new administration is Senator Smart Adeyemi representing Kogi West Senatorial District. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. A lot of promises have been made and there are a lot of expectations from the Nigerian public. Would you say the president's inaugural address meets the expectations of Nigerians? Of course, yes, the speech gave us um, it was a kind of um, a refreshing um, uh, development for the nation. Uh, hope and courage to confront obstacles that are militating against the development of our nation. Uh, in that address, the president was very much um, um, uh, concerned about those challenges, and he was courageous enough to provide solutions to some of them who are very critical uh, to national development. Uh, uh, who, the, those are issues that need to be resolved so that uh, Nigeria can move forward. He talked about expanding the economy, creating job opportunities, creating wealth, and uh, improving the level of productivity of our nation so that we can improve our economy, we can uh, strengthen our currency, and Nigeria can stand again as one of the nations to be respected in the Committee of Nations. So, so it was a very refreshing, very encouraging address by Mr. President, and I'm sure uh, millions of Nigerians are very pleased with the courage and the sincerity in his address, because he was so sincere, he was, he was blunt, he was not pretending about any issues. Those are the issues that are being obstacles to our development, confronting our, uh, our economic survival as a nation. He talked about them. And I think um, um, uh, it's a good development, and uh, we are quite happy that we have a president that is very much grounded with uh, some of these obstacles, and is, of course, from his wealth of experience, and uh, he as a person, a man who has been tested and trusted, uh, he actually is actually determined. Like he said, he asked for the job and has gotten the job and is very much courageous enough to say that, look, I am going to confront all these obstacles. I'm going to emancipate. I'm going to move the nation forward. I think well, I personally salute the courage and the sincerity of the address of Mr. President. And the president, of course, one of the profound statements he made was on the issue of subsidy. And, of course, he's receiving the support of the lawmakers in this regard to drive the removal of subsidy and make the economy better for Nigerians. What is your word to Nigerians and especially to business persons at this time? Well, you know, the issue of subsidy is a big problem. It's, it's like the economic cancer of our nation. And whichever way you want to s solve the problem, you are bound to step on toes. Stepping on toes of the powers that be, those who are actually em embedded in the, in, the, in, the, in the issue of oil, um, oil importation of, 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 of finished products to our nation. Now, if you look at what goes into subsidy, the question is, is the common man actually benefiting from subsidy? No. So I believe that the president is going to find a solution to the issue of the implication, the aftermath of removal of subsidy to the common man, to the, to the civil servant, to the worker. And I said it, that effort will be made to improve the well-being of Nigerian workers, improve their salary, their take-home. If that is done, see, what Nigeria imports is not just consumed by Nigeria as a nation. Some of these products are the product you see in other West African countries. In essence, we are subsidizing not just for Nigeria. Nigeria is subsidizing for other West African countries, which shouldn't be. We must be courageous enough to confront some of this problem. And what the president rightly said is to remove subsidy. Removing subsidy, of course, equally put in place those measures that will cushion the effect, the pains that we emanate from the mover. There's not that quite a number of those who are involved in importation of oil, who are involved in run tripping of, of the product, may want to sponsor some problems. But the fact is, we can't just continue subsidizing for the eternity. These are the people who have made it impossible for the Potaco refinery to work. The Cardinal refinery is not working. Thank God that we have a Dangote refinery coming, coming on board. So to me, I hold the view that 
we must look at how we take care of the civil servant, the low income earners, but subsidy is an economic cancer on Nigeria that needed a surgery. In doing that, we must take into consideration the pains of the people, on the, the man on the street. If that is taken care of, I think it's something that deserves to be supported because the volume of what goes into it, the percentage of what goes into trillions of naira goes into subsidy. The question is, who are the people benefiting subsidy? It is not the man on the street. It's not the, the common man. It is the same elite. And some of this money for subsidy, they end in foreign, uh, foreign accounts. They end in Europe in America. So, so I think we should dis, um, commend the president for his determination to find solution to this. He said earlier on before now that the, the condition of service of the workforce will be improved and um, salary may probably be, be increased to, to cushion the effect of um, um, uh, uh, removal of subsidy. But the fact is those who are enjoying the subsidy are not the common man on the street. Subsidy is a problem to Nigeria nation. And um, if the refineries are working, if they allow the refineries to work, then why nobody will be talking much about subsidy. But as it is today, our major refineries are, are not working. They are not working. And how do we do it? The, the solution is to import and you subsidize because the, you know, the, the international um, uh, price dictates what we have. I mean, um, how much goes into subsidy. It has to do with, and the pump price is determined by the global uh, market, the, the, the international market, the, you know, the, the pump price at the international level. So, so it's a problem that requires solution more than ever before. And I'm happy yes. that the president is not the, is the man who is well grounded in the international politics and the, and, 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 and the uh, economy. So, so he's looking at all the options available to make life more better. Very well Nigeria. said, Senator Adeyemi. I would like us to take up another you know, angle to this. As the president promised, he has hit the ground running from day one. But how soon do you expect him to set up his cabinet? Well, the, the good news is that news President Bola Tinubu is not just a Nigerian, he's a statesman, he's a man who has built bridges across this country, he has men and women of substance, of great intellect across this country, so picking people wouldn't be a problem, those who will meet his vision. And you know, he's not a man who is given to sentiment, um, President um, Bola Tinubu will look for the best of brains to help him to move the nations forward. So, so, so the fact is that he's coming, from, looking at his background from the wealth of experience he's bringing to, to the presidency is an asset for Nigeria and is a thing that will provide solutions to so many problems, so many uh, uh, challenges confronting our nation. This is a man who in the last 25, 30 years has been uh, empowering people with respect of your tribe or your religion. So he, he has interacted sufficiently enough with Nigerians. So, so when you talk about getting the right people, He's not a new man. He knows those who believe in his vision. And I'm sure you can see from the result of the election, you can see the overwhelming support across, you know, without sentiment, people voted for him. So, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Maybe in another six, seven weeks, you know, we have a, a two months um, provided for him to set up his cabinet. But I don't think it will take that long because of his wealth of experience, because of his level interaction. And those who are surrounding him, the lieutenant, are people who are well grounded as far as uh, politics and then... Um, looking at the intelligences within this business we call politics, you know. There are so many categories of people in politics, but you, of course there are those of them, those who are in, in politics because they want to add value. He knows them, and he has interacted with quite a number of them across the length of, and breadth of our nation. So it's not going to be a problem for President Bola um, Tinubu to bring in the best of brains that will help to uh, actualize his vision, his determination to effect a change and emancipate Nigeria economically, socially, and and uh, making sure Have that... Have to uh, we, we, we leave that, that you know, conversation so there. Right. Senator representing Kogi West, Senatorial District, Smart Adiemi, thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 7.